Can older people learn math? Let's get right to it. Let's talk about this because I had an email that was a little bit negative. It was an email that was a response to a video I had made about age and mathematics. I usually don't get very many negative emails or negative comments. And I think it has to do with the nature of this channel. This is a mathematics channel, so there's a lot of positive energy on this channel, which is good. I like that. I can't imagine having another type of YouTube channel where I discussed, you know, controversial things and things like that. I, I like the mathematics. I like how positive it is. But I feel like I need to address this email because perhaps there are other people that think this way. In fact, I know there are other people that think this way because I've had students that have felt that they are too old to learn mathematics. I'm going to start with a story, a short one. I was in a professor's office many, many years ago. Wow, it's been, it's been a while now. And this professor is now retired. I don't know if he is still alive. He was French. He was from France. And he got his PhD at Harvard. So this is a Harvard PhD professional mathematician. And he was in his 70s at the time. I think he was like 74, 75. And he was still working. He was still actively doing mathematical research. So we're not talking about learning basic algebra. We're not talking about learning basic calculus. We're talking about a man in his 70s doing basically the most advanced mathematics you can do research level mathematics. And so I came in and it was kind of like a meet and greet. And he asked me why I wanted to study mathematics. I told him that I enjoyed doing mathematics. I like solving math problems. It's something I like doing. I enjoy mathematics. It makes me feel good. I love the feeling I get when I solve a math problem. It's interesting. And he talked about mathematics and age. He just brought it up. And I don't recall why he started talking about it. He kind of just started talking about age and mathematics. And he said that when he was younger, he could spend seven to eight hours, you know, poring over books, trying to find ideas. He would go to the library and just read books and do math and look at theorems and lemmas and examples, just looking for ideas and things he could use to solve the particular problems that he was trying to work on, the research level problems that he was trying to solve. And he would stay there all day, every day. Every day he'd put in a good seven to eight hours of solid mathematical focus. And he said that in his old age, he was in his 70s, these are his words, that he could only focus for just a few hours. So think about that. Here we have a man in his 70s and he's saying he can only focus for just a few hours. And he's doing research level mathematics. So I think the answer is it's never too late to learn mathematics. You know, if this man who is 70 something years old can spend, you know, two, three, four hours focusing on mathematics, I think anyone can, right? What makes him special? I mean, sure, he went to Harvard and got a PhD and he was a semi famous mathematician, but he's a human being. And his ability to focus for two to three hours is something that other people, you know, should be able to do. I mean, maybe you have some type of, you know, disorder. I know there's, you know, ADHD and things like that. But there are ways around that. And even if you just focus for half an hour or an hour, you're going to learn a lot of mathematics. You know, if you, if you sit down after watching this video with a piece of paper and a pencil and you sit down for half an hour and you do mathematics. You're going to learn mathematics. Even if you just do a few problems, you will learn math. I had this, this teacher long ago. He used to say, the best way to learn mathematics is to do a little bit every day. And I thought, wow, that's brilliant. I, I was just blown away by that comment. I thought it was such a great idea, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't follow through on his advice. And I think it was just a lack of discipline, not a lack of motivation, but a lack of discipline because sometimes you're not motivated, right? Sometimes you wake up and you don't want to do math. You need to learn to do mathematics when you don't want to do mathematics. You need to learn to perform, to focus on mathematics when you're not motivated. 
That's called discipline. And when you build that, that's how you get better at things. You know, if, if you're able to sit down, regardless of your age, for 30 minutes a day, you are going to learn mathematics. I get a lot of positive emails too. A lot of them are from people who are older. There's a lot of people who are in their 60s and 70s, and I'm not saying that's old, it's, it's older, it's older than me, and they want to learn mathematics for whatever reason. Maybe they're retired and you know, they took math in college and they wanna go back, they wanna explore because they realize, perhaps at, at that age, in their 60s and 70s, that there is a benefit to learning. And, and I think it's interesting, if you're watching this video and you're younger than 60s and 70s, you know, to look at these people and ask, you know, why is it that so many older people are trying to learn math? I think it's because they realize how good it is for you. You know, it keeps you sharp, it makes you feel good. I know that when I wake up in the morning, if, if I do mathematics, it makes me feel great. It just like clears my mind. No matter what's going on in my life, after doing a few math problems, I feel like this, this mental clarity just like comes over me. So yeah, it's, it's never too old. I mean, if you have a man in his 70s who can focus for three to four hours, that's amazing. And this guy, this guy was a little slow. Like when he talked to me, he talked very slow. I mean, you could tell he was older. This was an older gentleman. You know, he's, I, again, I don't know if he's still alive. He was French, which is really cool. He had a really cool accent. So yeah, it's possible. It's possible. What do you think? Do you think age matters? I mean, obviously it matters, but do you think there's a point where you simply can't learn mathematics? Do you think anyone can learn mathematics? Obviously, you know, different people have, you know, different levels of intellect. But I think if you have the ability, so if, if you have the ability to sit down and focus, even for just 30 minutes, you're going to learn something. Even if you're not naturally good at math, you can still learn. I've seen it. I've seen students who are just not good at math. They, they study and they try so hard and they work so hard and they just, they, they cannot get the A. But they'll get Bs and they'll get by and they'll learn mathematics, so it's possible. And maybe in other classes they'll get As. So I have seen people who just really, really struggle with math and they can learn math. And I think that that shows me, personally, I believe that most people can learn mathematics regardless of age. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Random video, I just thought I would make it because I don't get many negative emails and I thought, oh, I should, I should briefly address this question. By the way, if you wanna learn mathematics, I do have math courses. They're actually on the Udemy platform, which is a reputable place to have courses. However, please use the links from my website if you decide to check them out. My website is freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com and just go there and just click the links for any course you want. I've got all the calculus courses, differential equations, I've got some algebra, some proof stuff, some advanced calculus, abstract algebra. Some of the courses have assignments, some don't. They're pretty good courses and all of the mathematics should be correct in those courses and they cover a great deal of content. So yeah, check them out, mathsorcerer.com. If you found any value in this content, subscribe if you want to. And the key takeaway from this video should be, it is never too late to learn mathematics. You can learn. This Harvard professor, he was able to learn new mathematics in his 70s. I've had students in their 50s and 60s learn college algebra. Maybe they struggled a little bit more because they've been out of school for a while, but they can do it. And they do do it through discipline and hard work. Don't give up. Keep doing mathematics.